Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice six term of equations? We are giving x plus y equals 6 and xy equals 72. So we want to find the value of x and uh, the value of y that satisfy these equations. So we have two system of equations and we consider the solutions from here. From the given questions, we have x plus y equals 6. So we consider this as equation 1. And also, we have xy equals 72. We consider this as equation 2. So then, let's say from equation 1, we have x plus y equals 6. Then let's make y the subject of the relation here. We have y equals 6 minus x. So we consider this as equation 3. Then we will recall from equation 2. So which says xy equals 72. And we have already made equation 3 which is y equals 6 minus x. It means we have to substitute into this equation 2. Anywhere we see y, we replace it with 6 minus x in equation 3. So here we have x into bracket of 6 minus x equals 72. So let's open the bracket here. So x times 6 that is 6x minus x times x, we have x squared equals 72. And by trying to rearrange this, so since it's a quadratic, we have to arrange it properly as we have minus x squared first, then followed by plus 6x. So let's transfer 72 to this side. So we have minus 72 equals 0. So then we have negative a, so which is not making sense to start these equations. Suppose we divide 2 by minus here. So the whole of this, if we divide 2 by minus, so minus divided by minus a, we get plus x squared, and a is minus 6x, so a is plus 72 equals 0. So, having these expressions, then we have to solve it quadratically. So, here we are going to do here is, suppose we have 6 here, if we divide 6 by 2, so we have 6 divided by 2, this gives us 3. Then, let's square this 3, which is 9, then we add 9 and subtract it from here. So, having that, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then, minus 9 plus 72 equals 0. So when we combine x squared minus 6x plus 9 together, suppose we combine this one together, so it gives us x minus 3 all squared. So because x minus 3 squared, when we expand this, we get x squared minus 6x plus 9. And also here is plus if you subtract 9 from 27, uh, 72 we have 63. So, and this equals 0. And then, let's take 63 to the other side. We have x minus 3 squared equals minus 63. Then, after having this, Let's try and uh, take the square of both sides. So by taking the square of both sides, we have so we have x minus three equals plus or minus the square root sixty three. Then let's take take it to other side. So a we have x equals three plus or minus the square root of so a is minus is three. So we can have this as uh, square root of minus 9 multiplied by 7. And by rule of sort, we separate this one as 
x equals 3 plus or minus so we can separate this as square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 7 so when we separate this we have the whole of this so here we have x equals 3 plus or minus square root of minus 1 that is i then multiply by square root of 9 that is 3 multiply by square root of 7 we leave it like that then we have x equals 3 plus or minus so we can call this one 3i root 7 so on getting this it means there are two values of x our x1 equals 3 plus 3i root 7 and we have our x2 which is 3 minus 3i root 7 so these are the two values of x that we get then let's recall from we have to recall from where we let y so you know we have y equals 6 minus x then when we test for when x equals 1 here so at x equals to 1 we have to get the value of y so it means for every y1 and x1 so we have 6 minus so x1 we have to replace it here then we have 3 plus 3i root 7 and by expanding this by opening this we have our y1 equals 6 minus 3 minus 3i root 7 so 6 minus 3 minus 3i root 7 so it shows that y1 equals 3 minus 3i root 7 and also when you consider from x2 and we try and uh, substitute it in y so we therefore have our y2 equals 6 minus then we replace it x with x2 and our x2 here is 3 minus 3i root 7 so let's try and expand this we have y2 equals 6 so when we open this we have minus 3 plus 3i root 7 then we have y2 equals so 6 minus 3 this gives us 3 plus 3i root 7 and here is the value of y2 that we get so if our x2 equals 3 minus 3i root 7 then y2 becomes 3 plus 3i root 7 and vice versa so this is how to solve this problem Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.